Serena is much more outgoing off the court. Sterlay is the ninth seed in the women's field. They played twice this year, 24 years of age. Eighth right now, one title this year. She won in Strasbourg, which is on clay. She actually says is her favorite surface, the surface that she grew up on. So with her style of play, you would think that she would favor the faster surfaces because she is so powerful. And, Ted, you're also going to see power on that side of the yes. court. Serena Williams is extremely powerful and starting to control that power. She's hoping to get more consistent as she gets more experience. Oh. You'll see her move way in on the second serve and try to attack it. And again, shots like that, I think, are just lack of experience, having, having not played that much on the circuit, because that was just too deep to try for that short of an angle, but that's what she's learning. So remember, this is her first year full-time on the WTA Tour. Oh. Well, look where she's standing for this, receiving a second serve. And most of the time, you'll see Spirlea will hit that second serve to the forehand side. That's not because Serena has a weaker forehand. Spirlea just prefers to hit that serve with a slice. 14-13. That one at the body. Older sis, Venus. Watching, cheering her sister on. They are extremely close, have a really terrific relationship. Game. Oh, and Perlea goes out wide for the ace, and she holds her serve to start the match. Press game. Want to take a peek inside the vault? Here's what's coming up. We've got movies that kick. What are you going to do? Do it. Crash. Mm. Collide. Now, what this whole relationship is based on? Ah, ah, ah. Excuse me. And the stars to match. Oh my God! When you want a movie, ah! when you've got to have one, go ahead. Dive into the vault on USA. Everything you can possibly want for your bike is here at Mission Cyclery. Look at this store. We have the number one brand Trek bikes and awesome Gary Fisher bikes. We have mountain bikes, road bikes, and BMX bikes. We have bikes for everyone from beginners to experts. And when you buy one of our bikes, you'll always receive lifetime tune-ups. Why? Because we're family-owned and operated, and we want you to be part of our family. Look at our accessories. We have clothing, computers, and tools. Need parts? We've got them. So ride on over to Mission Cyclery, one mile east of the 805 on Bonita Road. And don't forget to check out our website. It's a holiday sale on major appliances at Aztec Appliance in downtown San Diego. They're overstocked. This is your chance to save hundreds of dollars on brand name refrigerators, washers and dryers, dishwashers, ovens, and cooktops. Plus, brand new factory seconds at prices so very low, the manufacturers won't allow us to advertise them. It's the holiday sale at Aztec Appliance, corner of 15th and G Street in downtown San Diego. But you better hurry, because the sale ends soon. What a beautiful night here in Queens. Moonrise over Flushing Meadows, and we are live at the National Tennis Center. Michael Barkan above Arthur Ashe Stadium. On the roof, as you look at the grounds, the Unisphere in Flushing Meadows, Corona Park, and there is Court 11, where Alex Karecha just beat 
Jean-Baptiste Perlant from France in five sets. The crowd just emptying out there. And we move on to the left. And from the moon to a moon face. Welcome back to our day five coverage, nighttime coverage. We've got two great matches for you tonight on USA Network. And we can't underscore enough that this is a reconfigured grounds here at the National Tennis Center. We show you some of the outer courts. Here's the food court down below where the throngs of tennis fans come in. They take the train in from Manhattan. They take the buses out and they have a little bite to eat. And there's plenty to choose from there. You'll hear later on in our program. Very, very yummy as we uh, send it back to Arthur Ashe Stadium. Well, I, I guess there's a cheeseburger session in yes, the offing is. tonight. <laughs> Serena Williams here serving at 40 love. Oh. By the way, that was an interesting point, Michael brought up. Alex Karecha needed five sets to win his match over a qualifier. He was down two sets to one, was Karecha. Came back to win. Spirlea just so talented, Ted. Absolutely terrific hands. Can get so more, so much power off that forehand side. Great shoulder turn and hip turn. Okay, Williams. So Serena Williams holds on her first service game. One game more. One thing nice about the Arena Spirlea backhand is that she can hit it mostly with slice. It'll stay down so low on this court, but she can also hit over it with topspin and tremendous pace. Fifteen left. One of the keys to look for in Spirlea's game is her first serve. Usually a big weapon for her. Actually, she had the most number of aces last year at the U.S. Open on the women's side, 37. Berlea's match with Venus Williams in the semis was a Good great match. It was the two sets that Sperlea lost, she lost in tie breaks. And Sperlea, I think, actually had one or two match points mm -hmm. in the final set tie break. She had two. We all remember what made that match so famous. It was the bump. And they were changing sides. Neither one wanted to give, and they bumped into each other, chest butted. Made headlines around the world. to the bump from both sides, from the Spirlea's team. side and from the Williams side. Point well taken, Ted. Okay. Let's take a look at the forehand. Great shoulder turn, racket head speed. Rushes up down below the ball. Oh. Fortunately, oh. since the initial emotions of that moment, the participants at least say things have cooled off. And Spirlea says that Venus Williams now says hello to her in the locker room. Yeah, and I believe they have. But remember, Spirlea was fined about $5,000 for what she had to say about Venus Williams in the press conference. A profanity. Lace tirade it was. Spirlea holds Spirlea her on serve. My company spends a dollar on coffee and a dollar on workers' comp insurance. And the insurance guys use our dollar to build this incredible system with computers and nurses and doctors. So 
if one of my guys wipes out on the job. He gets all the help he needs. He gets checked out faster, and he's back on his feet in no time. Which is great, because he can get right back into his old routine. You know, work, sleep, coffee, that kind of thing. We think an SUV should be less status symbol and more truck. So you'll find a truck-based steel frame under every Jimmy to give it backbone and make it as solid and true as a GMC truck. And right now, get this solid deal. Buy a Jimmy and get $2,500 cash back during the GMC summer sell-down. Your GMC dealer's got plenty of Jimmys on hand. But hurry, because while backbone will always be standard on Jimmy, this great deal won't. Jimmy by GMC. Start of a holiday weekend here in New York City. Well, I guess it's a holiday weekend everywhere, but uh, generally holiday weekends in New York mean vacations, and for a lot of folks, take a time to come out and see some tennis. You made the comment, Tracy, earlier in this week that you think this is the last Grand Slam tournament that Serena Williams will play as an unranked, unseeded player. Definitely. Met ranked number 20 in the world. But remember, she has no points to defend from last year. So every tournament that she plays, she's just racking up the points. getting to third round here and, and possibly further and has a whole fall season to add the tournaments up before the Australian Open comes up in January. And it seems like, Ted, every time I see her, let's say every month or two, she's improved. She's just a little bit sharper, a little bit smarter out there. Well, Serena's been a pro for such a little period of time here, but she's already had five wins. In fact, she was the fastest woman ever to have five wins over top 10 players. She did that five times in her first 16 pro matches. Good you. Last October, she was ranked 453. This is last October, less than a year ago. In Chicago last October, she went and beat Mary Pierce and Monica Sellis, both top 10 players. Got to the semifinals of Sydney, defeating Lindsay Davenport. That was in January. Went to the Australian Open the next week, where she beat Irina Spirlea in the first round. Spirlea a seed there. And next up had to play her sister, Venus. Lost to her. Great point for Spirlea. First break goes to Spirlea. 3 1 in the first. These two first met at the Australian Open this year. The first match at the Australian Open, and Serena Williams knocks Spirlea out. Ah! 15 left. Is there a psychological advantage with the fact that Serena has two hard court wins this year against Berlaya? Oh, definitely. And it's a psychological disadvantage if you've never beaten someone. Thirteen. And I can't emphasize enough how impressed I am with how quickly she's risen up the rankings because they didn't play any junior tournaments. From the time she was around nine years old until this year, she's probably just played a handful of tournaments, whether they were junior tournaments or women's tournaments. So it's really tough to sharpen your skills and get used to playing under pressure, playing in the third set at four all, 
raising the level of your game because you just have not had that much experience. So I've got to give her a lot of credit. Game Spirlea. So Spirlea backs up the break. Four games to one for Irina Spirlea in the first set. Now we're going to Stadium 3. Action there with David Mercer. Thanks, Ted. We're Jeff Grant, the 22-year-old born in New Jersey, now living in Massachusetts, is in a real dogfight with Andre Medvedev, the man from the Ukraine. It's one set all, and they're into a third set tiebreak. Jeff Grant serving at the near end. And this would be a tremendous win for Grant. Long way to go yet. But if he could move up two sets to one, he'd certainly be the favorite. Oh. No, just too much. Four, three, Grant. You can see the eagerness. Andre Medvedev, a man who's been uh, in the top five in the world. Fighting for all his life out here. Still terrific action all around the grounds in the main show courts. Hitting that forehand long. And Jeff Grant leads by five points to three, two points away. Barry McKay is alongside five, me now. Four. All right, David, I'll tell you what, you're so right. This youngster has a big opportunity. The ace brings it back to five, four. Grant serving, five, four. Loader. I was just going to say, David, he didn't want to do too much. That last approach shot, I thought he overhit the ball, and he played that volley just perfectly. Six, four, Grant. High shot here. Hits it behind Medvedev. You can see Medvedev tries to change directions. No way. Two set points. Two sets to one. Well played, Jeff Grant. Seven games for six. So Grant moves ahead by two sets to one. Let's go to Stadium Two. Barry is sitting there with Mark Philippoussis and Sebastian Leroux. What's going on, Big Bear? All right, 5-3 over here, David. Philippoussis in the near court trying to close out this second set. It's a set apiece. This is Mark Philippoussis, the big bomber. He's rolled an ace in at 131 miles per hour already. Short ball. And there it is. A set point for Mark Philippoussis, leading 5-3 in the third set. His opponent, Sebastian Leroux from Canada. Okay. It's going to go long, and so Mark Philippoussis goes to a two sets to one lead out here on Stadium 2. We've got more action for you tonight from the U.S. Open. Serena Williams right here. We'll have it when we return on USA at the U.S. Open.
Serving at 30-15 to Serena Williams at 4-2 in the first set. You can tell it's a big night of tennis here at USA. We're being graced by the presence of the stat doctor. Leo Levin is with us this evening. He's the best. Well, these days, it's a cameo appearance. <laughs> He's a big guy. <laughs> There's no tennis record that's official without the authentication of Leo Levin. <laughs> Say hi to your baby at home, Leo. Come on. She's played a very good first set. Five games to two. Bellini, five games to two. For more than 145 years, people across America have relied on Mass Mutual for life insurance and financial security. Mass Mutual, the blue company. We help you keep your promises. My mama, she makes the best chicken cacciatore this side of Italy. Yeah, the best. But sometimes I get heartburn from my mama's cacciatore. So before I come over, I take a Pepsi AC. Forgive me, mama. Mio figlio adora il mio pollo alla cacciatore. Però io dopo un pezzettino, che indigestione. Devo prendere un Pepsi AC. Before a meal or after, Pepsi AC lets you eat the food you love. Guarda che faccia sto figlio mio. You can be heartburn free with Pepsi AC. There'll come a day when your photos will be so sharp, everyone will know Cousin Minnie's not really 29. Fujifilm's 35mm Superior Film. Just one reason why, that day is today. As a fruit, this is what you live for. Ocean Spray Fruit Audition. Take one. How are you, partner? So you're from Georgia. That's right, y'all. I wish I came from the town of Con. Driver's license says yeah. you're from Queens. Sure, there's rejection. We're looking for Georgia peaches. Give me a break, will you? Introducing new Ocean Spray Wealth Leaf Farms 100% juice blend. We only pick the best fruit. There's a lot of tears. I'm a Georgia peach. But you can't make a great juice without shedding a few tears. Where are you from, pal? Security. New 100% juice blends from Ocean Spray. We only pick the best fruit. <laughs> 15 left. Now back here is Spirlea. Up five games to two. She's up one break in the first set. Serena Williams serving at 15 love. Thirty love. A little bit like some of the earlier round matches with Serena Williams, Trace, and that she's making a fair number of errors in this first set. She's going for it too much too soon, just a little over anxious. Signature shots when it loops up high to her forehand about shoulder height. It's incredible power, just such strong shoulders.
You can laugh a little bit because it was 40 love. What a great point. 30, 50. Leia really let her back in that point, oh. though. She didn't slam that volley really? away. She had more fun toying with it. Okay, really, really. And I think we saw on that point how uncomfortable Spirlea is in there. It's a rare appearance for her. Spirlea leads by game to three. Nonetheless, the ninth seed will now serve for the first set. And also what it shows to me is, is sometimes she kind of goes away. Just doesn't seem to have that killer instinct every single shot. Monica Sellis never would have done something like that. The point would have been gone a long time ago. You can't start toying around like that because then you let the opponent back in. 15 I tell you, Berlea is so talented. But sometimes she lets her mind get involved. Some things bother her, she'll get distracted, she'll have lapses of concentration. If she can tighten that up, I seriously think that she could get into the top five. She's that dangerous of a player. The problem, though, is that that mental toughness is just so key. Top five players don't give you any free points. Put enough stick on it. It was like, okay, see if you can get this one. Is that another case of going for too much? Yeah, going for too much too soon. You know, the key is, is that it's just experience. She's, because uh, in the first round here, she played Nicole Pratt from Australia, and she was so tight. She didn't know what to do out there, had no game plan, would go for it, and in the next round, just kind of push the ball. Oh. She's got to find just the right time in the point to go for it. You gotta hang in the point, and then when the ball's a little shorter, when you're on balance, that's when you go for it. And that's gonna do it, so Sperlea has used one break to win the first set, 16 to three. Sort it out when we get there. Gosh, that was close. I just had a detail. The Infinity QX4. Own one, and you'll understand. Baseball players know a lot about home equity loans. So do football players. At Superior Bank, we don't play games with your financial future. Instead, Superior has been helping homeowners for over 75 years. Helping homeowners reduce their bills to one monthly payment and get the cash they need when they need it, even if they've had credit problems in the past. So if you're tired of playing games, 
Call Superior Direct now at 1-888-678-7777. Still some folks arriving here for the night session at the National Tennis Center. Here on Arthur Ashe Stadium Court, still to come, Michael Chang against the French Open champ, Carlos Moya. Right now, Serena Williams serving to start the second set. Irina Spirlea winning the first set. Is winning the first set uh, for Sperlea eliminate that psychological edge that Serena might have had? No, because she uh, won the first set the first time that they played at the Australian Open this year. She won a 7-6 and then went on to lose 6-3, 6-1. Remember, it was only one break of serve for Sperlea in that first set. Very tight. Signature shot, this running forehand of Serena Williams. To me, that's a sign of a future champion. Someone who hit, can hit a big shot on the dead run. Not just worried about just getting it back. Actually do something with it, cause damage. Her sister Venus is doing that as well. playing as an unseated player, two sets to one up on Sebastian Leroux. Jeff Grant, Medvedev on serve in the fourth, Grant up two sets to one. Ah! <laughs> of course, Ted, it doesn't hurt that Serena is about 5'11 and Venus is about 6'2 and they're also so strong. Seems like everybody's getting more fit, doing more running in the weight room longer. Everybody's stronger. Interesting quote from Mary Jo Fernandez. She said she was off the circuit for about eight months, hadn't played since December, and she said since then, she's come back, everybody's hitting harder. So Serena Williams holds her serve to start the second set. First game, second set. Watch USA original movies. And you'll be star. Linda Hamilton. Mario Van Peebles. Christine Lottie. Richard Grieco. Yasmin Bleeth. Dolph Lundgren. Michelle Lee. John Ritter. Lynn Whitfield. Patrick Stewart. Ann Archer. Harry Hamlin. Ali Sheedy. World premieres of original movies. Every month on USA Network. For two weeks, it's okay to play with fire. Only USA brings you over 92 hours of live exclusive coverage of America's Grand Slam. The commentary is fiery at the competition. The U.S. Open, August 31st through September 13th. Don't miss any of the grand slamming action on USA and Cox Cable. Everything you could possibly want for your bike is here at Mission Cyclery. Look at this store. We have the number one brand Trek bikes and awesome Gary Fisher bikes. We have mountain bikes, road bikes, and BMX bikes. We have bikes for everyone from beginners to experts. And when you buy one of our bikes, you'll always receive lifetime tune-ups. Why? Because we're family-owned and operated, and we want you to be part of our family. Look at our accessories. We have clothing, computers, and tools. Need parts? We've got them. So ride on over to Mission Cyclery, one mile east of the 805 on Bonita Road. And don't forget to check out our website. And welcome back to USA's coverage of the 98 U.S. Open. I'm Bill Patrick at our USA outside location. Don't forget Chang and Moya, Michael Chang, Carlos Moya, the 10 seed coming up later after the Serena Williams match. And, uh, oh, 
a few hundred yards from here is Shea Stadium, and you'll recognize the uh, the crafty right-hander from Barcelona. That is Arancha Sanchez Vicario throwing out the first pitch along with Jets wide receiver Keyshawn Johnson. And then the fun begins. Check out the, the back of her jersey, by the way. Her name barely fits on the back of her jersey. All right, folks, get set. It's souvenir time. That's a high drive to left. Oh, swing of the miss, Keyshawn. <laughs> bringing shame upon the entire Jets family. There you go. That's souvenirs that you can be proud of at Shea Stadium tonight. The Mets going for a wild card spot. Uh, Arancha, not a wild card, by the way. She's the fourth seed. She'll take on Sarah Pitkowski in the next round. Right now, back to tennis. See, Tracy, all those people you said no to for tickets tonight, look where they did. They wind up at the Met game. And poor Keyshawn <laughs> had to be embarrassed in front of all those fans, and then we show it again. Well, right now, a little bit of a, a moment of worry for Spurlea. She was just serving at love 30, and she just barely clipped the center line for an ace. Serena Williams not sure about it. Second set. When Spurlea needs to tighten up her game, stop making the air, give herself a little margin for air. That's long. Let's go to Michael Barkham. Hi. Hi, Teddy. With Venus. How are you? Good. What's it like watching your sister play? Well, this is really great because I've never, ever sat in this stadium before. I've done all the playing, not the watching, so this is good. Do you get nervous oh! watching her play? Do you get, you know, when you want to go out there and help her? I know that I can be of no assistance at this moment in time. I know she has prepared well enough and she has sufficient arsenal. But still, does it give you butterflies sometimes watching? Well, she's a tough player. Tough point going on right now, and I know that she can come through. Yeah, you, know, you can do play by play. Yeah, definitely. I'm ready. Are you ready? We'll send you up to the booth. All right. Yes. New job. What was it like? Your, your dad was here earlier in the week, and and he hasn't been to a Grand Slam before with you. What was that like for you, having him here? Oh, it was great. You know, he has been to regular tournaments, but not to the Slam before. And I'm glad he got to see the stadium first. I'm, I'm glad I got to see it first too, before playing the old one. He says he wants to bring uh, he wants to bring the U.S. Open back home. You think that's going to happen? Well, there's enough room. How do you feel after after a couple of rounds? How do you feel about your game? Well, I feel that I need to get a little bit more serious and just be ready for anything that comes my way. What do you mean more serious? Stop making the errors. Just want to improve as each round goes on. Is, is uh, everything all forgotten and buried with you and uh, Irina? Sure. So if, you know, you face her again, you, you, you cross over, what's going to happen? I don't know. She might cross on the other side. I'm going to cross by the umpire. You didn't tell Serena to do anything, did you? No, no. We're going to... Everyone's going to keep their hands to themselves. Thanks, Venus. Thank you. Appreciate it. There's Serena Williams now at 30 all. Kind of scary that Venus wants to get more serious. She won her first round one in love, and the second round one in three. So she lost a total of five games. Tomorrow, uh, Venus will play her third round match against Larissa Neyland, who's the oldest woman left in the draw. Also, someone that Venus played in the first round here last year. 
Naylin took her to three sets, but I expect a completely different match tomorrow. I think Venus will handle it very easily. Okay, me. Well, the first set to Sterlea, second set now, three love for Serena Williams. taste of homemade, Hellman salad dressing takes any salad and makes it your best. And that brings out the best in everything. Great. Now, you know, the other thing we wanted to talk to you about was mutual funds that help minimize the capital gains taxes. They don't exist, sweetheart. Actually, index funds can do that. Really? Yeah. Some are designed to be more tax efficient. And given your long-term goals, it might be an option that makes sense for you. I stand corrected. So sit down. This is the one I was texting. This is the index funds here. Mm -hmm. It's a whole pamphlet. The Parsifal Collection by Raymond Wilde. Rash Stadium, Sperlea up a set, Serena Williams up a break in the second. We'll be coming back here shortly, but first we want to check in in progress on Stadium 2, Barry McKay, Johnny Mack. All right, Ted, over here, 5-3 Bellacruz is one game away from a victory. Sebastian Leroux in the near court, Mark Bellacruz at the top of your picture, 15 love. All of a sudden, John. You remember that Bowie song, Suffragette City, but wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. <laughs> that's what this match is about. Not a lot of rallies over here, Ted. I think three or four is a record. Well, that's one thing Philip Bruce is trying to work on, his athleticism. Did a good job there. His new coach, Pat Cash, I'm sure, stressing, stri stressing more flexibility and improved fitness. Pat used to be a stickler for fitness, so could work out there. 15 all here, three points away, Philip Pusis. Oh, oh. Well, he hit that hard just never hurt either. <laughs> <laughs> he is up a break at two sets to one in five three, so he does know in his back pocket that if he does lose his game, he gets to serve it out. Philip Pusis nicknamed the Scud down in Australia in that last backhand, good example of it. Crank one up 131 miles per hour already on his own serve. And I'll, I'll tell you something, Barry. I, I don't think he's grown, but he's, he, he looks like he's grown. He's a big guy. That looks like a tight end for the 49ers, John. This guy could do it all. A great athlete. 30 all now. Sebastian Leroux. Still down. 21. Mark Filippus has turned 22 in the 7th of November. Is it possible to grow at 21? <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Listed here at 6'4". About 200 pounds. You're right, he's loaded. Another 40 pounds, he could be a linebacker. Great running forehand from Philip Pus as he rolls it for a winner. And lo and behold, the Aussie Mark Philip Pus is at match point. He is good from the ground. He prefers to hit from the ground. That's one of his problems, is learning to serve volley. When you hit the serve that hard, I, my advice, go to net. <laughs> A lot of opportunities on floating balls. Match point. You right down the center. 110 miles per hour, and Sebastian Leroux fights off a match point over here. On Stadium 2, we're back to Deuce. Center. 
Take a look here, a 21-year-old. We've talked about that height and weight. Still lives in Melbourne. It's also where Pat Cash grew up. And I'm going to tell this because, I, and even though he doesn't want me to, his mother is an American. You didn't know that. Pat Cash's mother is American. His father is Well, he hit that forehand return hard. Everything's fine. My gosh. Another look at this return, John. That's a measly 108 mile an hour serve that he uh, <laughs> made look quite ordinary. We are back to Deuce over here on Stadium 2. Mark Philippus is trying to close it out against the Canadian right here, Sebastian Leroux. doubles players on the tour, a semifinalist at that wrap-up tournament with Alex O'Brien, who we saw play earlier today. Oh! Gets wide. And so Villapuzis will have to serve for it, 5-4 in the fourth set. Let's head back to Arthur Ashe Court, Ted Robinson, and Tracy Austin. Right here, that's Serena Williams taken over the second set. Two breaks. A four long and serving at 30 long. This has been a complete turnaround. The problem with Sperlea, she hits that forehand so flat without any spin. She starts to miss, just starts to spray him. Mm -hmm. It's a little wild. Well, Sperlea looks like uh, we're going to a third set here. Five nothing for William Serena Williams in the second set. Let's go right back to Barry and John. All right, Ted. We're about ready to roll over here as Philippoussis now will step up to serve for the match. John, what goes through a guy's mind as he gets ready to serve at 5-4 to try and close out a four-set match? One of the biggest servers in the history of the game, right here, first of all. So that's got to be comforting. <laughs> that helps. It helps. But as with anyone else, he'd like to get a couple first serves. Get ahead in this game. Take the pressure off himself. Okay, and that's very intelligent for him to do that. Get the first one, and has only hit 104 miles per hour. But if you place it where he did, Todd Martin does that quite well. Very difficult to return. swing the serve out wide. This court's named after him. Arthur Ashe did it pretty well against your old buddy Jimmy Connors there at Wimbledon one year. <laughs> he sure did. He won it here in 68. Beat the flying Dutchman Tom Ocker. Yeah. Won the first U.S. Open, Arthur Ashe. Big serve down the center, 109 miles per hour, and so Mark Philippus is three quick points, John. He's at match point. There's the luxury of winning that first point. And you hit it a little bit harder, and then he bombs that third one in. Triple match point. getting caught up in those baseline rallies. I mean, he, he does hit the ball well. And he's got good ground shows. I just don't think that that, in the long term, is what he should be doing. You Australian supporters in the crowd tonight, only for their man, Philippus. Still match point. No call. There it is. 129 miles per hour. So Philippus is looking very strong in the last three sets got off to a bit of a slow start John but he closes it out here in four sets we'll take a look at his draw now 
Lucas Arnold has beaten Vern Carbacher with beating Peter Quarter. That's a good win for him. We saw earlier Tim Henman. He's going to play the qualifier Coleman. Interesting encounter with Kiefer Kafelnikov. Krychak over against Johansson. Interesting section of the draw there. Good chance for Philip Houston. Some very talented players and that part of the draw. No question about it. Let's head back now to the Arthur Ashe Court. Tracy and Ted. All right, guys, here it's uh, Serena Williams, the inevitable about to happen. Double match point on Sperlea serve. Or double, excuse me, thank you, Tracy. Double set point on Sperlea serve. Controlling the point. Final set. Berlay and let Williams get into that. Please. I think she stayed focused. Started making errors herself. Didn't stay on top of it. tell the story. That's right. But you know, you got to give Williams all the credit in the world. 15 Look low. at this effort right here. She was going completely the wrong direction. To her right and forward, changed direction. Relia pulling her head down, slamming her racket down. That racket, I'm sure it's got to be broken. Got to be cracked. Point Tracy seems to bring out two lessons. One is the incredible edge that Serena Williams has in court movement. And two, Sperlea has had too many times tonight where she just hasn't put a ball away at the net. That's right. And, and look at the mental attitude. Sperlea just didn't finish that point off, wasn't hungry enough. And Serena was going to fall down if she had to, to win that point. <laughs> also showed the temper of Sperlea that can, she, she can get distracted by. Actually, the only player to be defaulted from a tournament, 1996, got defaulted from Palermo for swearing at the umpire. Didn't like the line calls. Berlea <laughs> says it's part of her personality. Says, I know I'm not the nicest person on the court, but that's the way I, I need to be to win. But she said, I'm not a witch either. Somewhere in between. And I think I cleaned that up. Oh, okay. Hey, hey but right now, Serena Williams is out playing Sterlea. That's game ball final set. From the creator of Law & Order. Yep. Hold it, grab it! New York Undercover starts September 14th on USA. See hey, kids. How would you like to win some super prizes? Well, if you become a member of XEWT's Kids Club, Blue Beam Fatil, then you can join in on all the watch and win fun. Enjoy great cartoons. Receive totally rad prizes. Test your brain on challenging trivia. XEWT's Kids Club, it's just for you. Sign up and get your own cool ID card. And then come home to Channel 12, because we're tu canal en español. It's a holiday sale on major appliances at Aztec Appliance in downtown San Diego. They are overstocked. This is your chance to save hundreds of dollars on brand name refrigerators, washers and dryers, dishwashers, ovens, and cooktops. Plus, brand new factory seconds at prices so very low, the manufacturers won't allow us to advertise them. It's the holiday sale at Aztec Appliance, corner of 15th and G Street in downtown San Diego. But you better hurry, because the sale ends soon. 
The U.S. Open on USA is brought to you by Alliance Capital. Get outstanding research, investment expertise, and global strength at Alliance Capital. Because later is sooner than you think. And by Raymond Weil. Enter the world of precision movements. The Parsifal Collection by Raymond Weil. Welcome back. I'm David Mercer out on Stadium Court 3, where a couple of minutes ago, Andre Medvedev in all sorts of trouble against the last wild card left in either singles event. Jeff Grant, the 22-year-old born in Englewood, New Jersey, living now in Watertown, Massachusetts, Love, 40. ranked 133 in the world against the former world number four. And now Grant had match point to win in four sets. 15. Medvedev saving the first with the ace. Jeff Grant playing in the US Open for only the second time. Lost in the first round last year. Would the nerves get the better of him? Two match points had come and gone. Grant had lost the first set 6-4, taken the next two 6-3, 7-6, winning the tiebreak 7-4. Now leading 5-4, 30-40 on the Medvedev serve. And he finished with a double fault, so the only wild card left in either singles event, Jeff Grant advances to round number three. And the crowd out here on Stadium Court 3 celebrating, joining in the celebrations. And Jeff Grant goes on to play Oliver Gross, the German who put out Albert Costa. And Jeff Grant really now has a great chance of going through to the fourth round where he will play either Magnus Larsen or Marcelo Rios. Jeff Grant through. Let's go back to the stadium. Serena Williams, Irina Svelea, Ted and Tracy are watching. All right, David, thank you. That indeed a great moment for a wild card young American, Jeff Grant. He might get a shot at the number two in the world, Rios. Here it's pulled the game back together. On her serve. Played a wonderful game to hold. First game she played like that since the first set. Really key for her because she was really starting to lose the momentum. In the first set, she'd lost only seven points on her serve. In the second set, she won only five points. I think the big key in the third set is how well Sverlea competes, how much she wants it. In that second set, it just seemed like in the beginning she made a few errors, lost her confidence, got down on herself, started showing it with her body language. Gotta stay pumped up and fight 100% every point. Wow. I tell you, I think Scalia's return was just about the best Pretty shot cool. this tournament I'd seen on the women's side. Look how hard it was. Just blocked it. There's no way Serena meant to hit that great of an angle. Beauty. Oh. Leia looking over at her coach and boyfriend, Max Pache, who she credits with so much of her rise to the top of the rankings. Fear Leia probably just inside the top 100 when she hooked up with Max, Max Pace from Italy. She says that he gave her the confidence, got her in shape. She lost 20 pounds, helped her with her serve. Ron serve in the third and decisive set. After the women's third round match. Second round men's action. 
the French Open champ Carlos Moya meets Michael Chang. Let me get a double espresso latte, half decaf, medium foam, and just name Dutch talker, okay, thanks. I'll have an Austrian goat milk cappuccino with a touch of Madagascar cinnamon. In Ordering the right cup of coffee has become quite complicated, unless... I'll have one. He's having All you want is the richest coffee in the world. Just look for Juan Valdez. 100% Colombian coffee. Anything else just doesn't sound as good. Great timepieces are built to run forever without replacing batteries. But only one of these is smart enough to run forever. On any kind of light, Echo Drive from Citizen. Live at the speed of light. Time's up. Shower's over. Hi. Saving up to buy a computer? Half a napkin. Half a napkin. Packard Bell makes home computers families can afford. You'll be able to manage your finances, access the internet, and help your children learn. Now it's possible for every family to own a computer without having to make those reasonable little sacrifices. Dad! Now when you buy a Packard Bell computer, you can win college tuition and other great prizes. So buy smart at a Packard Bell retailer near you. There'll come a day when your photos will be so sharp, everyone will know Cousin Minnie's not really 29. Fujifilm's 35mm Superior Film. Just one reason why, that day is today. First set of this match belongs to Spirlea. Great first serves in that first set. Second set, Spirlea disappeared. Serena Williams dominant, winning the set at love. Williams showing her athleticism, changing direction, beautiful passing shot. And now we're early in the third set, but again, some chances that have not been put away by Sperlea and the never say die of Serena Williams. This shot right here shows her motivation and desire to do whatever it takes. We're on serve in the third. Williams looking for that one break to give her the edge in this third set and she just hit a beautiful lob over Sterlea. Even this game at 15 all. A newcomer, Sperlea. She's been around a while. Worked very hard to get to the top ten. She's 24 years of age. Sperlea's story is an interesting one as well. She was not born into privilege, although her parents were both very out, uh, very fine athletes in Romania, but at a time when the Romanians lived under great oppression, the Ceausescu regime. Sperlea had to fight and claw just be able to get onto a tennis court to play when she was a youngster. 14, 15. And in the juniors, after Nadia Komenich defected to the United States, visas were canceled. And there was some concern that Sperlea would never leave Romania to, to pursue playing. But Ceausescu's regime eventually in 1990 was overthrown. Sperlea, who at one point thought she might just be a, a coach of tennis in her homeland, has now been able to, to pursue a professional career. You make almost $2 million in that career. Yeah, she talked about the fact that she was supposed to go to a junior tournament in Florida, go to the Orange Bowl. And a week before she was supposed to leave, that's when Nadia Komenich defected. All things changed. Look There's still acrimony between Sperlea and the Romanian Tennis Foundation, headed by Ilya Nastasi. Sperlea does not represent Romania in Fed Cup play. Excuse me. 
she feels that she had to basically do everything on her own. She got no help from her home country. She said she couldn't believe it when she first started to play on the tour. She didn't have a lot of expectations, but she'd go into the player lounge. There'd be Coca-Colas and 7-Ups, and they were free. She was so excited. Different world for her. that when she's most fit and moving better, that's when she plays her best. Quite a big girl, very powerful, always compared to Steffi Groff. Never felt that she moved like Steffi Groff. She's right. Oh. Boy, Sproheya flirted with danger there. Right at the beginning, when she came out and started playing the satellite, that's when she hooked up with Max Pache. And for so many of the young girls, it, it takes someone that's influential in their life. Yana Novotna was the same way. Didn't have a direction. Didn't seem that motivated. But hooked up with Hanna Manlikova as her coach. Manlikova made her believe that she was a great athlete. She looked at Max Pache in the front row in the white hat. Manlikova made Yana believe that she could win a Grand Slam and get to the top ten. Got her in shape. It's all about somebody believing in you. And if you have the talent, that's what it takes. play over, let court or two, maybe some distractions, but you've got to just stay focused and stay positive. It's had really an excellent get from Serena Williams on that forehand volley. It was so low. Great racket control up there. Both Venus and Serena, I think, are going to start going to the net more in the future. Watching Serena Tracy in, in this open, her first one, it's just so impressive. The, the other women on tour now know hitting winners against the Williams sisters is a lot tougher yeah. against most other players. They get so many balls back. over to towel off. It really is a humid night, not hot. It hasn't been too hot this U.S. Open, but a lot of humidity in the air.
So now it'll be Serena Williams' turn. 15 full two. will feel the heat. Two break points for Spirland. We saw that a lot in their first round match. Spirland had just too much time because Serena Williams didn't get enough with the backhand volley. And Serena played Nicole Pratt in the first round. She had so many backhand volleys and kind of just bunted them up. Really 100% on break point chances. Spirlea hitting this one too short. Serena sees the opportunity, moves in, just drives that backhand deep. Try to get into that backhand side on the second serve. So Serena has answered that first challenge, saved two break points. Strategy serve out wide to the forehand. Next shot, long foot. Spirlea, mm -hmm. she's having a tough time changing directions. These are the kind of shots that allowed Spirlea to get to the semifinals here last year. Moving on into the net after those big forehands, showing some good touch. And incredibly, she almost got to that ball. Serena Williams hitting so many balls to this Berlay running the wrong way. Luckiest man alive. Well, maybe not so lucky. What? Well, you never saved any money, Dad. And we can't afford you and the baby. 
You gotta move out. But, but I want to spend time with him. Oh, you can. The movers won't be here until four. Uh-oh, they're here early. Wait, bye-bye, Grandpa. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Don't be caught unprepared. Get outstanding research, investment expertise, and global strength at Alliance Capital because later is sooner than you think. We expected a three setter on serve in the third. First two sets maybe more one sided than we might have anticipated. Definitely. Here it's going to be about holding serve, taking advantage of any chances that they have. Both have had break points in the last two games, couldn't capitalize. What can Sperlea do to counter the wrong footing? Well, when she hits that running shot, she's going to have to hit a lot deeper because. Serena's just having too much time to get set up for the shot and going behind her. Lay also has to realize she's quite tall, not that agile. So if he so it's, it's tough for her to hit a shot when she's been wrong-footed. For all the players out there, that's a smart shot, a smart thing to do against her. People like Lindsay Davenport also has trouble turning around. Oh. And frankly, Ted, I don't think it's a shot that's used often enough. We always tend to fill the hole. And that serve right there, I also don't think it's used often enough. The serve right at the body. Skirlea likes to slice her serve, both the first and the second, so hit on the right side of the ball. dismay. Called out and now then he, overruled. he made a correction immediately. The same line person. So they will replay the point. At least he admitted his mistake. I think so many might think that, but they think, oh, I'll just leave it. Don't want to admit the mistake. Everyone. That turns out to mean little. Sperlea holds, and it's three all in the third. These two played three sets in the first round at the Australian Open this year, but Serena Williams took the third set 6-1. And then at the Lipton this year, also a hard court event. First set went to a tie break. Serena Williams won it. And then she won the second set at Love. Berlea just went away. And that's what I don't want to see her do here tonight. Because I have seen her do that sometimes in the past, and I think she's doing it less and less in her career. At Hilton Head this year, she got to the finals, lost to Kutzer. But on the way, beat Davenport and Sellis, both 7-6 in the third. When you have results like that, I think it gives you more confidence to keep fighting the whole time. Both players have had break points in this set, but neither has converted. Friendly back. 
bounce off the tape for Serena Williams, who stay on serve in the third. Now the time to discover the great selection of 1998 Oldsmobile cars and trucks available at Discover Days. Consider the Bravada. Its exclusive Smart Track system automatically adjusts the change road conditions. Now receive our lowest financing of the year at 0.9% and enjoy over $3,000 in finance savings. Or, for a limited time, receive $2,500 cash back on the Bravada. Discover Days with 0.9% financing on all 98 Oldsmobiles at your Oldsmobile dealer now. My company spends a dollar on coffee and a dollar on workers' comp insurance. And the insurance guys use our dollar to build this incredible system with computers, and nurses, and doctors. So if one of my guys wipes out on the job, he gets all the help he needs. He gets checked out faster, and he's back on his feet in no time. Which is great, because he can get right back into his old routine. You know, work, sleep, coffee, that kind of thing. Daddy's got Tylenol for his headache, the most trusted combination of strength and safety in pain relief today. And Tylenol works without stomach irritation, so before you know it... May I have this dance? Daddy's going to be right as rain. Tylenol. Take comfort in our strength. Back at Arthur Ashe Stadium, Sperlea is serving at 3-4 on serve, third set. playing with fire right there, setting the ball up so easy like that to Skirlea's forehand. Never know what you're going to get. Roll of the dice. Serena moving inside the baseline. That was a nervous forehand right there didn't finish the shot, kind of rolled over it. Talked about Sperlea's serve early, Tracy. It was very good in the first set and has dropped off dramatically since. But there when she got the first serve in, it's all the key. difference. It's really key. Whether she starts out the point in the dominant position, only 56% for the match. about how the serve is becoming so much more of a factor in women's tennis because everybody's serving so much bigger. She said it just takes one drop of serve a set, and it's tough to get that break. It's becoming more men's tennis. Tracy, women hit the ball harder, a little more power in the women's game today. Does that have an impact in the popularity rising? I think definitely. I think it's, it's gotten more exciting. The big rackets have actually helped the women's game. The wider rackets and the longer rackets, more power. But I think you've got to couple that also with the personalities. The young ones coming up are so opinionated, exciting to watch. Pretty complete games. 
for being so young and I think all with the capability of being top one, two or three in the world. Tremendous potential. wait for the next three years to see how it all settles out, whether Pincus is still number one, or maybe this young lady right here, or Venus, or Kornikova, or, or someone we've never heard of yet. Sort of where the men's game was a decade ago, when Agassi, Chang, Courier, and Sampras were all coming in. I guess for Becker. Becker is probably a younger guy, but they were still trying to hang in there and fight off the younger ones. That's what's great about the tour right now. Sellis coming back. Stephanie Groff making a big comeback. <laughs> Lindsay Davenport, I think, playing the best tennis of her life. And Nirvana as well. So it obviously it's a great mix right now in women's tennis. It's a very exciting time. who's the veteran of the top group right there instead of Ralph. will play the winner of this match. enough respect that she deserves most of the time playing on the outside courts unless she plays a big name. job just out of college I had hardly any money yeah that's when my car starts making this weird noise I saw a Firestone store with Mastercare car service so I had them check it out and guess what they found the problem and even suggested a way to fix it that saved me money when I needed it most I'll never forget that let's go load them up Mastercare means we guarantee to fix it right or your money back Mastercare at Firestone just what your car needs something you're not sure of. At the Hartford, we help small businesses take on uncertainties. We customize plans and financial products designed to help you take risks, not just protect you from them. in the third. Fifteen left. Let's see how she handles the pressure. That's the problem with serving second. You're always trying to play catch up. Thank you. 
90 minutes in, and the Citizens uh, watch time clock. The fourth double fault. That comes back with the winner. 13-15. So much power in this forehand. Hits it extremely flat. Not much topspin, so not a lot of margin for air. Remember, Serena Williams already has a Grand Slam under her belt. Won the mixed doubles at Wimbledon with her partner, Max Mirny. Got to the finals at the French. Louis Lobo lost to her sister, Venus, and Justin Gimmelstab. many put aways at net tonight. That's the shot she was looking for. That's the point. The shot that she worked so hard to get. Just took her eye off the ball. survive. This was just out, and you see Skirlea giving her opinion as well. Just wants to make sure Five, please, please. that they call Thank it you. wide. Well, that was with the heart, <laughs> not the eyes. <laughs> Chang and Moya will follow this match. USA late night. Love the team. Back ahead, too open on that last backhand. Has to continue to hit the ball, keep driving it. because I think she really respects the movement of Serena Williams. But she guesses right here, has an open court. Serena has a terrific drop shot off of either side. It's especially great on that backhand because you can't read it. Great chance now for Serena. Second serve coming at love 30. is her bread and butter right here. Kind of soft, right in the middle. Plenty of time to get set up and go for it. 15 full two. Still, two break points. the first break of the final set 
and Sperlea will serve for the match when we return. Fifth set tiebreaker. Sampras versus Agassi. Sampras prepares to serve. Agassi rips the return. Sampras runs it down. Wow, what a backhand. Sampras cross court. Agassi down the line. The crowd goes wild. Hey, this is unbelievable. The ball boy won't give Sampras the ball. Get in the game. Join the USTA and get this exclusive U.S. Open t-shirt for just $10. Call 1-800-896-USTA. Pergo Mania, the biggest Pergo sales event you've ever seen. Starting at $2.99 a square foot, it's the single lowest price in Pergo history. This week only at San Diego Carpet One. You know about Pergo Silver Floor, the amazing dense, scuff, burn-resistant laminate floor. Yes, this week, Pergo Mania hit San Diego Carpet One. Pergo Silver Floor for just $2.99 a square foot with Carpet One's triple 10-year warranty. Plus, one year, no payments, no interest. But hurry, Pergo Mania is this week only at San Diego Carpet One. Are you tired of paying too much for furniture? Are you looking for a great selection of quality oak and pine furniture? Well, at Factory Oak and Pine, we have it all. From home entertainment centers, dining room sets, and home office furniture, to bedroom sets, sofas, curio cabinets, and more. All at everyday low prices. Factory Oak and Pine is on Miramar Road next to Kids Warehouse. This Saturday through Monday, September 5th through the 7th, we're slashing our everyday low prices for a Labor Day celebration. And remember, if you don't shop here, we can't save you any money. Oh, here we go with Sperleja, serving for the match. Well, she did put that one away at net. The key there was getting the first serve in. Only 43% this set. But she hasn't been broken, so obviously Serena's not been climbing all over that second serve like she needs to. Just like that. Short second serve. Beautiful angle reply. Sustainable. Good footwork. Gets on balance. Well out front. work. Ace number six. <laughs> Serena absolutely crushed that ball. And Sperlay made a great return. A lot of this encouragement for Serena Williams to keep going. Two match points. Terrific third set. And in many ways, a real proving ground for Spirlea, who was just an at, was a no-show in the second set and often had not been able to come back from that. Tonight, she did. I was really impressed with how she turned that around in the third set, really late, raised the level of her game, played tough when she needed to on the crucial points. So next up for Skirlea, Yana Novotna, the number three seed, who's going to be coming at her a lot. Serving and balling, chipping and charging. Should be an interesting match. Those six of the eight seeds in the win's top half have made it to the round of 16. All right, let's go to Michael Barkan. All right, Ted, with Serena Williams. Uh, Serena, how do, you, how do you sum this up in terms of your emotions right now? Because... It looked like you were you were down in the first set. You took care of her in the second set, and you were one game from the match. 
Well, she played a good service game that game. I made a little too many errors. I didn't play very well at all today. My serve was way off, and it just wasn't my night tonight. You seem, though, like you, you hung in there well, and you, especially against a tough serve. She serves very well, and you seem to be returning it well. Yeah, she served pretty well today. It was probably the best she served in her, I guess, career. She did a very good job of that, but, you know, once again, I didn't play that well, so. How did it come apart when you were up 5-4? And you, and you were seemingly in control of the match. She had a great service game there. She had a lot of big serves. I wasn't able to return them. And if I did, they were short because it was such, it was pretty hard. And she just put it away with her forehand. So that was a pretty good game for her. She put it together very, very well. What do you take away from this experience in your first U.S. Open, your first year on the Grand Slam Tour? Well, I'm pretty disappointed because I totally didn't plan on losing today or in this tournament. So maybe next year. Maybe next year. Thanks, Serena. Thanks. Appreciate it. Serena Williams. Ted? I'll tell you, there, the confidence of Serena Williams does not get shaken a bit, even in defeat. No, but you can just see she's just clearly disappointed, and that's good to see. I was impressed with her fighting spirit out there tonight. You know, I don't think she gives herself enough credit. This is her first U.S. Open. Fought extremely hard. Played, played very well, but she doesn't have the experience at this woman, Irina Spirlea. All right, let's hear from the winner, Mike. All right, Ted, with Irina Spirlea. And I'll tell you what, I just talked to Serena, and you played a great first set. The second set was, what happened in the second set? I lost completely, you know, the size of the court. I was completely, you know, somewhere else. And, you know, she made me, you know, get confused. So it was tough to me, you know, to come back. You know, I was happy to get the second game in the third set. Because other assets in a big trouble. Your serve seemed to be on tonight, yet she was able to track it down. Yeah, but except the second set, I couldn't put one first serve in, but otherwise I'm happy about the way I serve. I think it helped me a lot tonight. The third set, you're one game from losing this match, and you're serving to stay in the match. What was going through your mind there? Because I think everyone thought that Serena had it won, and here comes Arena Sperlea. Well, I was thinking, you know, I didn't lose my serve, you know, so far in the second set, in the third set, so, you know, I was just, you know, try to make her play as much as you can, you know, with the first serve, and then we'll see what's going on. What kind of emotions now, playing here the first time since last year on stadium court, playing at night under these lights and, uh, and, and winning? Well, last year I think I played like three times night match, so I, I had an idea about how the court is, you know, and I actually like this court, so, you know, uh, I have a lot of fun playing on this court. Up next, I don't know it's going to be a lot of fun, Yana Novotna, you've never beaten her in five tries. What kind of problems will she pose for you? Well, I think I have a problem because she served pretty well and she's coming in and it bothered me a lot, you know, but, you know, you never know. What's going to, you know, what's going to happen? You know, I can play, so she can, you know, she can be in a bad day, you know, I can play unbelievable, so, you know, I'm going to try. Nice win tonight, Arena. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Arena Sperlea, Ted, back to you. So, Arena Sperlea lost to Venus Williams here last year in the semis, lost twice to Serena this year, including once at a Grand Slam, but tonight, a winner, and she's on to the fourth.